What's up, YouTube? Burr, it's cold. We're here at the skate park here in my city, Amarillo, Texas. So there's actually two skate parks here, but this is the first skate park that was built, uh, outdoor skate park. So let's go check it out. I came here yesterday for the first time in over about five years. Uh, I used to come up here and skateboard. Uh, but anyways, this is the park. There's nobody else up here right now, which is nice for me because it gives me a chance to practice a little bit. I'm on my uh, FR UFR skates today. So this is only the second time I've had them on. Uh, I got the Caltech uh, V2 flat frames, uh, some Hazom 64 millimeter bullet wheels, which I'm switching those off for some 60 millimeter 50-50 uh, wheels, some actual aggressive wheels uh, soon. Once they come in from the mail. But anyways. Whew. They've added quite a bit on to this park since it was originally built. I mean, when it was originally built, there was no concrete over here. Uh, if you can see, there's that little ledge down there, and that was the end of the park. It was grass after that so they've expanded it quite a bit uh unfortunately there's a lot of graffiti up here and that's been a kind of a city issue they've talked about actually closing the park down due to the graffiti and the vandalism to other parts of the park there's uh, some tennis courts behind us and then there's some baseball fields behind us this way it's a huge park um this is also a really good uh, Pokemon Go location. So my little Pokemon Go group or the Pokemon Go group here uh, likes to uh, uh, play. Going against the wind, so maybe some undesirable wind noise. So I was talking to some skateboarders yesterday and they said some local installed this rail, that little, uh, that rail that comes out of the ground, it's called something, but I can't remember the exact name for that kind of rail over there. Uh, and then the rail over here that goes down the slope, the round rail, uh, all three of these rails are apparently new, maybe a year or two old, they said. Uh, the skateboarders here yesterday were really cool. Shout out to them. They were really cool guys. Um, it was so windy, the wind was blowing their boards all over the place. Um, this rail right here, this one has been here since day one. Uh, I've actually broken my arm skateboarding on this one once, my wrist, specifically my right radius, uh, most specifically. Um, I also have dislocated my elbow down here in the bowl. So, uh, five years ago, I decided to skateboard again, uh, after not doing it for maybe like 10 years. I came up here and I was I was shredding man I was I was getting it all I was getting it good um, I was dropping in I was grinding I was doing my thing hopefully I don't fall here I'm still not used to like pumping on the end lines really but anyways I dropped in right here and this is about nine eight and a half feet and what I should have done is gone straight out of the ten foot edge over there but instead I, I was just so excited that I dropped in this high one progressing on the skateboard that I tried to kick turn up there and it's a burnt on that 10 foot wall. And uh, I fell, I mean, I basically like lost my traction with the concrete and was in the mid air and fell like eight feet down on my left elbow. That's why I wear this left uh, elbow brace now. Uh, it went numb instantly. I didn't even look at it. I said, my wife was up here. My, she was a girlfriend at the time, not even fiance. And I said, I think I broke my arm. And some little kid standing up there on top of the 10 foot uh, coping, he goes, yeah, you did. Look at it. And I looked at it and it was all mangled, dude. And then he dropped in and went through that little full pipe and just shit on me, man. But, <laughs> What can you do, man? Kids can be assholes sometimes, right? Sometimes, not all kids. Uh. I 
I still haven't grinded the rail, like jumped onto the rail yet. I'm scared to do it. But let's see, this is what I was doing yesterday. Just to kind of get a feel. Uh, it, it's a lot different. I mean, the small wheels, these are 64 millimeters. I'm used to riding on 90. Uh, therefore, they're a little stiffer too. It just feels real hard, even though they're the same uh, durometer. They're 85A, which is really soft for aggressive wheels. But they're still really hard because they're so stiff because of the size. Um, these are flat frames. I'm riding four by 64. Uh, so some people anti-rocker with smaller wheels in the middle. Uh, I wanted to go flat because it gives me a little bit more maneuverability than anti-rocker. And I'll just say flat versus like my endless 90s. These are so much less maneuverable than endless 90s. It is like night and day. I have forgotten the luxury of that uh, one millimeter rocker, banana rocker. Uh, but it's not something you can't get used to, you know, it's just different. You know, when I go backwards, I can't really, uh, weave my skate as much, uh, with a flat setup. So, but, uh, I don't know. It's something I want to get used to. And, uh, I told myself that I wasn't going to do aggressive skating in the beginning about six months ago when I started. Um, and I don't plan to go hardcore with aggressive skating, but I just, I love to skate, man. And I want to learn all the different types, you know? And I came out here and met some cool people yesterday and even just rolling up and down the ramps uh, was a lot of fun for me. I uh, fell, you can see I'm all padded up. I got my helmet. I got the knee pads, soft knee pads, cause I just prefer these. So whatever. And then my uh, elbow pad. But yesterday I did fall trying to drop in over there. Um, I have my butt pads on underneath, so that saved my ass, uh, literally. <laughs> so. Uh. And Mohawks too. Mohawks are weird on flat, like compared to uh, Rocker. You just don't have that maneuverability. So the first mohawk that I did yesterday was like weird on flat. But anyways, something we can get used to. No worries. <laughs> Moonwalking. Yeah, you got to be careful there. Like that C-turn right there was really close to hitting the sole plate. That was another fall that I did yesterday. Another thing that I learned, because I like to, I'm scared to do the sharp C-turn and I'm not really going fast enough to do it. But when you turn really sharp, the sole plates hit the ground and it turns into what's called a cess slide. Uh, but I wasn't expecting to do a cess slide yesterday and fell doing that. Um, but yeah, I hope to progress. I hope to be grinding all these freaking rails one day. I made a little uh, P rail, a little practice rail yesterday. I made two actually, because the first one was a little too small. Um, but I'm gonna mess on that. I mess around on my P rail today, probably this morning after I get done with the skate park, and then uh, most likely do the skate plex this afternoon on my Arc uh, CS frames, and that's a lot of fun. I love doing that. So, but anyways, this is the skate park. I hope to progress on my aggressive skating endeavor. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribing helps the channel out. Liking the video helps the channel out. I appreciate everybody who's watching. Uh, shout out to everybody who's, uh, you know, watching my videos and commenting. I really appreciate it. It uh, means a lot. So, um, but I hope to continue making videos. Uh, stay safe out there. Uh, have a great day. We'll see you guys later. Bye.